Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the introduction to JWeb video. In this lab, what I'm going to do is show you how to manage and maintain your Juniper device via the JWeb. So what we're going to do in this lab is we're going to show you the basics of JWeb, how to do some basic system administration via the JWeb interface. We're going to make sure that we have connectivity to our device first, then we're going to get into it and set up the device. In this case, we're using an SRX210 that's in my home lab. We're going to use this device. We're going to have to configure it via the CLI first, the command line interface. We're going to have to get into it and put in a command so that we can get into the device via the JWeb interface. Once we're in, we're going to explore some of the key features of the JWeb and let me first explain our network topology. We have the SRX210H and in this network topology we have the SRX210H configured to are connected to the Cisco router via GNS3 so the connection goes from the SRX210 into my network interface card on my laptop and then from my laptop I'm running GNS3 and bridging the connection from the real Juniper router into GNS3 and to a Cisco router. So what I'm going to show you is how to set up and do some basic configuration via the JWeb and how you can monitor and maintain this information. So that's why I have the Cisco router in this lab so I can show you some information and some of the key features. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things we want to do is make sure that we can reach our device. So we're going to bring up the command prompt. We're going to try to ping this device. Let me go ahead and put in here, I, I forgot to put in our subnet. We're on the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. The Juniper router is, our Juniper device is the DAT1. Our Cisco device, we're going to make the DAT2. We're going to get in and configure that in a moment. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we have reachability from our local workstation to the Juniper router. So 192.168.1.1 you can see that we have reachability. And what the JWeb is and allows us to do is if you're familiar with Cisco, the security device manager, the JWeb gives us a similar experience. So with the security device manager what it allows us to do is manage and maintain and access our Cisco device via the Internet Explorer or Firefox or any type of web browser. So it's like a, a GUI or graphical user interface that allows us to put in configuration commands uh, in a easier way. So if you're not familiar with the command line interface on the Juniper devices, you can access the JWeb and it simplifies, for the most part, it simplifies your router administration. So now that we have reachability, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring up Firefox and what we're going to do to get into the device is we're going to just put in the IP address and I'm going to show you to see if we have reachability. Right now we do not, it says that we're unable to connect and this brings up one of the first things we have to do to get into and administer this Juniper device via the JWeb. We have to go under the router, we have to access it via the command line. Right now I'm SSH'd into the router via PuTTY. We have to go into configuration mode and the first thing we have to do is the command under the services hierarchy. So we'll go under edit system services and then we're going to do the command set. We do a space question mark. You see that we have an option for web management. 
so we have to enable web management before we can get into the device via our web browser so we do the command set web management space question mark and we're going going to use just for this case we're going to use unencrypted HTTP connection settings so we're going to do set web management HTTP and hit enter we'll go ahead and commit this change and once that gets done what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to reload and now you can see that we are presented with the Juniper Web Device Manager otherwise known as JWeb so we're going to access this with the username and password